everyone, Jess here, and today I'm joined with Jeanette Mao, CEO of HK Express. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Of course, it's a pleasure. So could you briefly outline how you're leveraging digital innovations to meet evolving customer expectations? Mm -hmm. I think digital is really a center of the heart of the LCC model. And after the COVID, we really see the increasing trend of customer are adopting and value the digital convenience. Mm -hmm. um, for, the, uh, for us, HK Express, uh, three years ago, we already embarked the digital transformation to harness the digital tools, the AI, as well as to uh, uh, foster a digital innovation culture. So for us, the digital transformation really focused on the area of increasing the operational excellence, improving the customer experience, as well as uh, to make the experience more seamless. So let, let me give you some example. For example, uh, uh, you know, one of the pain points for our engineer is to when they look at those defective parts, they need to search the legacy menu and it takes time for them to match the component uh, part number and search for the inventory. And we use the uh, new technology and use the AR and the machine learning so that they just use a pad to look at those parts and it will automatically showing the part number and whether the inventory is available or not. So it uh, saved 40% of the time. Uh, and for the customer facing, for the chatbot, uh, many of the airline adopting chatbot. I just uh, want to share the amazing results. Now 50% of our inquiry, inquiry are coming from the chatbot. And the average waiting time is less than three minutes. And the cost is even amazing. Chatbot, her contact is only 20 Hong Kong dollars, 20, Hong Kong, 20 cents Hong Kong dollars, Hong Kong cents. But for the manual call, it could be uh, as high as 40 Hong Kong dollars. Yeah. That, those are some really fascinating examples. And when we think about evolving customer expectations, what do you think are driving these? Is it just sort of post COVID? Is it uh, more digital natives? What do you think uh, is? The catalyst. Yeah, as I mentioned, the passengers are more uh, uh, adopting the digital convenience and the self-service, you know, baggage drop. They are all, uh, there is an increasing trend of this passenger behavior. Another thing we observe is uh, value hackers. So people are, you know, uh, are, are seek for value uh, because it's becoming increasingly easy to browse different options and comparing the price. And the, the value is not just about the pricing, but also they seek for distinct, uh, uh, unique experience. So I think these are the, some trends that we observed for the customer behavior. And for the airline, for the LCC, how can we accommodate that? And taking a step back, how would you characterize the current low-cost landscape if, um, in the APAC region or globally? And what are the main factors shaping it as we push forward? Um, for the low-cost carrier, uh, I think there is still huge potential in the APAC. Um, because uh, the uh, favorable demographics and increasing household, people really want to travel and uh, some of the population hasn't got chance to uh, travel, uh, fly on air. So there is a huge potential for the LCC. And uh, we focus on the leisure segment as well. I think after the COVID, people also realize traveling is some experience, is something not re uh, replaceable, especially for leisure. This help us our well-being, help enrich our lives, uh, help to alleviate those pressure. So I think from that front, we also play a role on that and we see big, huge potential for the LCC. And particularly, I want to me uh, mention, emphasize about the potential of GBA market and the mainland China uh, in the context of HK Express. Actually, uh, we have one out of four passengers on us actually coming from the GBA. Because of the enhanced connectivity, these travelers coming from GBA by sea, ferry, and uh, train, and uh, uh, car, and they come to Hong Kong and uh, fly on us to those distinct destinations that they don't have direct from the GBA area. Fantastic. And last year, the message we were getting from H here Express was agility, simplicity, efficiency. Do these still ring true, or are you moving in a different strategic direction? Definitely, still, uh, agility, simplicity, uh, efficiency are core of our LCC model. I think one thing we uh, uh, I find out is really, you know, uh, complexity uh, arises naturally, but the ch most challenging part is to make it simple. 
make it simple and focus on several things that the passenger really value and drive efficiency, drive excellence on those uh, 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 those focus. And like the OTP, right? I, I'm proud that uh, we last year we are the number one LCC in Asia and uh, top three globally for the OTP uh, uh, performance, on-time performance. Uh, every minute count. Uh, not only important for customers, but also important for our operational efficiency. So these are s several areas that we focus on and really drive excellence. Absolutely. And the operational efficiency, does this feed nicely into sustainability as well? Are you seeing that? I know you spoke about your flight efficiency program, and I also believe you've got some new aircraft and fuel saving technology in place. Yeah, for the sustainability bit, actually, I think LCC model inherently is supportive of the sustainability because we maximize the flight efficiency, operational efficiency, and minimize the waste. The concept that we give passenger choice to order the food and the beverage before they're on board actually minimize the waste. And also, uh, after the COVID, one more trend we see is um, uh, the heightened uh, consumer interest about the sustainability. So we pioneer and partner with Choose and introduce the consumer uh, carbon offset program. And we have saved 1,570 tons of carbon uh, CO2 emissions thanks to those you know, uh, eco-conscious passengers. And uh, uh, these are some of the initiatives we take on sustainability. Uh, and last bit is about the fleet modernization. The A321 and A320 new fleet definitely is a very fuel efficient fleet with the latest engine and the uh, carbon innovation technology. It could save up to 20% of the fuel uh, consumption uh, per seat. Uh, so I think fleet modernization is also a big piece that we contribute to the sustainability. Fantastic. And how do you think events like Aviation Festival Asia help to spark innovation within the industry? Mm -hmm. I think it's a good forum for all the Asian carrier uh, coming here and also I hear lots of from the airport, uh, different industry uh, stakeholders, how do they see the evolving uh, 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 air traffic, air travel demand and the whole market? What's the challenge that uh, we are facing and some of the innovative idea as well? I think it's a great gathering uh, uh, conference for everyone in the invest too. Uh, thank you so much for joining us at the conference and thank you for taking the time to share your insights with me today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.